Hi everyone, it's Tracy, and in this Adobe Illustrator for iPad tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can pull in an AI file that you've created separately, make changes to its color, as well as clip it into an object. So I have this very simple base illustration and I want to add a little something to the base itself. So I've created some vector textures that I want to pull in and I've saved them as AI files. So I'm going to go to my import menu here. I have them saved in my files menu and I'll go ahead and find the one I want. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag it out to the size I want it place it over the vase. Now, obviously this is sitting outside the vase and that's not what I want. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and create a clipping mask. And what I need to do is use the vase shape to do that. So I'll go to my vase layer here. I'm going to select that path and I'm going to hit duplicate. I need to drag this duplicate up above this group. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now, this is actually going to disappear right now. It's sitting on top of it, but as soon as I create the clipping mask, it's going to disappear. So I have that selected. I'm gonna hold my touch selector and select the group that makes up the texture. I'll go to my object menu and choose make clipping mask. And now it's clipped inside. Okay, so we've done that, but I don't like the color. I wanna actually change that. So I'm going to go ahead into my clip group and you can see that that texture is right here. So I'm just going to expand that until I find the compound path that makes up the texture itself. So now I have that selected, I can go over to my fill here and let's try this dark blue color. So I'll go ahead and select that. That's a little too close to black. So let's go ahead back in and select that compound path. And let's choose maybe this orange color. All right. So there you go. You've gone ahead and changed the color. You can also go in this same compound path, choose your node tools and make changes to those as well. So using the clipping mask, you still have the ability to go into the individual layers and make changes without having to worry about it being outside of the shape that you want. All right, that's it. If you have any questions about the process, please feel free to ask below. If you'd like to learn more about how to use Adobe Illustrator for iPad, I have a complete tutorial on my Skillshare channel, which I've linked below. If you'd like to use the textures that I'm using, I actually have them available as a free texture pack for my newsletter followers. And I've linked that in the description below as well. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.